The government has missed its target of reducing the number of people with learning difficulties being held in secure units in England. Its self-imposed deadline of reducing numbers by at least 35% expired last month and has now been extended to 2020. An investigation into assessment and treatment units, or ATUs, was launched in 2011 after the BBC's Panorama exposed abuse of patients at Winterbourne View, a private hospital near Bristol. The government promised to end their use for those capable of living in the community with proper support, as Noel Phillips reports. She's my only child. She is everything to me. She is my life. It is, it is just unbelievable. I am living a nightmare. 26-year-old Ayla Haynes has spent the last seven years in psychiatric hospitals after being sectioned at the age of 14 under the Mental Health Act. Her mum says her prolonged stay has had a detrimental effect on her health. She's got a huge uh, bald patch on her head now where her, head, her hair will never grow. She is so desperate to, um, to end it all, really. She currently has a toothbrush inside her because she swallowed a toothbrush. An actual toothbrush? She An swallowed. actual toothbrush. You, you couldn't imagine this happening to anyone. It is your worst nightmare. But she loved dressing up. Ayla is currently at a medium secure unit, 200 miles away from her home in Cardiff. Are you worried that you might never see her again? Yes, very much so. So I'm 78 years of age and I've got a heart condition and it's distressing, not only for me, but having to watch Ayla suffer and watch my daughter suffer and being powerless to do anything about it. I've tried for seven years and written to so many people for help. ATUs, or assessment and treatment units, came under increasing scrutiny in 2011 after the BBC's Panorama programme exposed horrific abuse of patients at Winterbourne View. In 2015, the government set a target to move between 35 to 50% of people with learning disabilities and autism out of inpatient units and into the community. It was called Transforming Care. But the program has missed its own five-year deadline, only achieving around 20% and leaving over 2,000 people on psychiatric wards. People are spending uh, many, many years in there. They shouldn't be. Awful things are happening to people in there, and they shouldn't be. And in the, in the same way that asylums were closed, these places need to be closed. These are happier times for Fazia Hussein, who spent 22 months at a secure unit in the East Midlands. She's now been reunited with her family. So I, I do think we, you know, we won the lottery in a way in, in, in the support that we got and, and, and the care that she has at the moment. There have been 40 deaths in these, uh, in these units uh, since 2015. Uh, and nine of those were deaths of people under 35. The government must recommit itself, must re-pledge to close these placements down. The Department of Health has told us they are determined to reduce the number of people in mental health hospitals and that the NHS is committed to reducing inpatient numbers by 2020. Noel Phillips, BBC News.